being in a rush whilst living on a sailboat and sailing will get you in trouble. To take an earlier cut, um, one that requires a bit more navigation. It has super shallow sandbars. It's gonna be mid-tide going down. But I have engine on, obviously. Um, the winds are pretty good, but I really want to make it through this part before dark and I'm already cutting it close with daylight so then it will be 80 miles through the bank. of a sunset but this water is beautiful as always only the Genoa out nav lights are on and working you can't really see them too well there's it's going between 17 and 20 knots of wind and um, going between five to seven knots. I'm not gonna put the main out because the wind does keep shifting so much and it's night and it doesn't hurt to go slow at night. And I'm going at a good pace. I'll take five to six knots all night. But I have my sailing sweats on. I'm feeling good about this night sail. So happy the navigation lights work. We've gotten rain, tons of salt water, so. They're not perfect, but I'm very happy about them. They're a lot bigger than my old ones that we had to forage for in Puerto Rico. You're not having it today, are you? You got so scared coming in the cut. Yeah, I, okay. Okay.
started dying probably about two hours ago. It's about 7.15. This way, coffee. Okay. 11.30. Um, basically, the boat traffic had stopped. I had the diesel, the gas tanker in front of me most of the time like on the ocean side the Xumas and they were hugging the Xuma chain autopilot was going in and out a lot of the night it would just like stop so it would go from heading hold to uh, standby just randomly hey you're pouty this morning Um, I did find, because sometimes my autopilot will just start doing this, even though I've adjusted all the settings. Um, and I found out that it's not the arm that controls the quadrant, but it's like the little arm that senses it. And that keeps falling off, and there's two screws above that. So I don't know if it's magnetic or um, what the deal with that is, but I'm going to get that looked at in Florida now or see what I can do uh, to make that stop falling off. And I'm gonna do a little more research into Garmin Autopilots to see what I can um, come up with as a solution. This battery power was fine. Wind generator's been doing really well. Wind died down and shifted. I got two hours ago. Other than that, we had 15, 20 knots all night. I only had the jib out and we were flying at like six-ish knots. Now it's a little bit behind us and between like nine and 12 knots, going about four to five knots. So I'll take that for a little bit of downwind. Um, the whole main's out. I just adjusted them and my Mitsumas have 35 miles to go. Covered 50 miles throughout the night. Well, a little bit over. miles from NASA and starting to hear the chatter on the VHF for towboat US and commercial vessels and I don't know if I'm ready for this <laughs> I've been in remote places for three months and I'm I can see buildings and I could see the city lights from 70 miles away last night one thing I wish I could display on camera are the stars and like some things about night sailing. Um, it's kind of hard to capture on camera, if not impossible, and it's really magical. Not a drop of rain, which was amazing. Uh, took my ghost harness off for a little bit since. We're barely moving. Water's still green. Yeah, I'm not ready for this at all. I'm not just going back to Florida, like I'm going back and the boat show's happening. I'm gonna be anchored right next to it. I love the boat show. But this is a lot and the traffic's gonna be insane and there's gonna be so many boats and hopefully there's an anchorage spot.
down to seven knots of wind directly from the back and it came to the point that I either turned the engine on and took down the sails or I just continued hearing them flop and being annoying. But not only that, I my decision was based on I could go one knot and completely enjoy it um, and not be productive and have an excuse to read and do nothing else. Or I could turn the engine on, get to the bay, stop moving and be productive, get the boat cleaned up, people will be over and start working on my list again. I could do some of it while underway, but it's honestly kind of stressful because you're always looking for boats, you're always looking for something, making sure everything's okay, and it's just really hard for me to focus on doing stuff while moving. Probably, I mean, not that reading's any better, I probably could like whack on my stainless pots and pans. Um, yeah, so about an hour till anchor drop, and we'll see what goes on after that. I want to get the inside of the boat cleaned up. I just feel like I haven't totally, I feel like it's never stays clean after I clean it. Story of my life. So I want to get that done, and jump in the water. It's so hot today. I just hope there's no mosquitoes tonight. It feels weird coming back. Um, it's, it was like my home. So this bay I'm going into has always felt kind of like home to me in the Bahamas. And we've stayed in this bay for basically two or three months before. And it's great. There's everything right near it and I'm excited to be back here. I can smell the pollution. This is the longest I've been like more remote ever and I could smell the pollution. I can smell the pollution which is kind of crazy. Um, it makes me interested for Florida. I don't know. I know that this season's coming to an end and it feels weird. And on that note, thank you guys for following along with this season. Um, wow. When I left Florida for this season, however long it was going to be, I had no plans when I left. I did not expect it to go the way it did. You guys have been there with me through the highs, the lows, um, the channel growing. It still amazes me to this day how much the channel has grown and I am truly appreciative of you guys. More than I could ever express. Patrons, I am especially so thankful for you guys. Um, and I've been working on making the my Patreon community a little bit more special. So thank you guys for bearing with me on that one. And there's also perks on YouTube. If you want to join there and don't want to make a separate account but I'm truly grateful for every single one of you watching the video staying with me through all the engine issues through the charters through the days of sailing the good the bad um, it's been really neat and it's something that I never anticipated planned expected and it's fun I've it's been a lot of fun So hopefully these next few days can go out with a bang and then I'll be on to boat work. So yeah, thank you guys so much. I'm not sure what my sail back is going to look like yet. The wind is not being nice. I really want to stay here to celebrate Stefan's birthday and then the week after that there's just no wind. So we're going to see how that goes. really don't want a motor for 24 hours to get back to Florida. 
Do we? You probably do. Setting the anchor now. And then I'm putting the dinghy down and getting in the water. The wind was behind us. About eight knots of wind and we're going about eight knots. And um, therefore we felt no wind the past three hours. in my bay. And this bay really does feel like home. It's nice. Okay, so I was stepping like right here. I looked over and there was just this big shadow like right there. And it swam off that way. It was probably the same hammerhead. I don't know if you guys remember back episodes ago when Taylor was here. And I was like, Taylor, there's a hammerhead because I was on the bar working out. I'm literally just dropped anchor, putting, I was untying this. And it just swam under. And it's back. It came to greet me. So now I need, um, yeah, now I'm going to get the dinghy down. And maybe that commotion will cause it to come back if I'm lucky. Both of my GoPros have broke. Oh, yeah? The front screen works on one and the back screen works on one. <laughs> I don't got to change the world. I just got to be myself. I don't count dollar signs. Spread love and I share the world. I've been overthinking of my life. No more wasting on my precious time. Thank you so much for following along this beautiful sail. It seems the closer I get to Florida, the more the weather picks up. Join me in a few days for the next part of my sail to Florida.